This is <clears throat> a smaller closet. David's closet. Oh my gosh, Ruby, I'm so sorry. Hi, I know it's been so long. Um, I'm gonna do my best to vlog efficiently today. Um, sorry, my hair is a mess. So it's Tuesday, I'm on my day off and I will probably upload this video later this week. I wanna show you like a semi tour of the house. It's obviously, of the apartment. It's obviously not put together right now. It's not, <laughs> can I help you? Or are you gonna watch me? Do you wanna be featured? Well, it's watching you like a creep. I can still see you. Anyways, that's David, he's off today too. So I'm just gonna show you a tour of the apartment. Obviously it's not put together completely. I'm just gonna show you everything that we have in here so far because I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long, obviously, and haven't showed you guys any updates. Um, since my last update, <laughs> Um, we moved in two Tuesdays ago, and then I got engaged the day after, which caught me by surprise. And then last Tuesday, we got River, our new mini golden doodle. So within seven days, a new apartment, engagement, and a new puppy. So I was a little bit overwhelmed. The week after, I just needed a mental break because um, for transparency, I was very, very overwhelmed and anxious and there were just so many changes going on, all for great reasons, but it was just a lot on my plate uh, for someone who is not used to change and not used to breaking out of routine. I was very overwhelmed. I mean, there were a few times where I cried and David was very, very, very helpful and there for me. Um, he was by my side throughout the whole time. So I just needed a break and I just want to share that part with you guys. I am better. Um, it's a learning period. I'm just adjusting to everything and I am very happy with all the changes. I just need to change my routine. That's that's it. And thank you guys for sticking by. I know I haven't had like a proper video out in like a week or two. So I'm gonna show you the apartment. All right, so we're gonna start over here. This is where you walk in. We have our shoes over here. This is also a shoe storage. Got this from Wayfair. Was such a freaking bee to build. I, I'll explain that one later. Boxes to throw out. This is our coat closet. I didn't realize how many jackets I had in here. Um, I, I, I'm very minimal with coats, but I don't know what happened here. Anyway, that's our coat closet. Very nice size, very generous. Oh, I don't know. They, there's a lot of storage up on top as well. And we have a lot of things stored on the bottom, so <clears throat> very nice. Um, okay, so here I wanna put like a little console table. I'm gonna hang that mirror up here, put some plants. Um, a lot to develop over there. And then when we turn here, this is our master bedroom. I was able to get a few things for the bathroom. I got this on Amazon, Home Goods, and I need to put some um, storage things over there too. I wish this was like a medicine cabinet, kind of like it would come out, but it does not. The bathroom. Sorry, there was, I threw tissue in there. <laughs> this is <clears throat> a smaller closet. David's closet. Oh my gosh, Ruby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ruby was in your closet and I closed it on her. The story, oh my gosh, story of my life. This is the bedroom. Sorry, excuse the mess. Um, I was not expecting it to be as spacious as it is. So I have to figure out what I wanna do with the walls. Um, we left River's cage there. He sleeps in the room with us. He likes to sleep in the cage. Um, my ottoman bench is there. We made like a makeshift, sorry for the mess. We made like a makeshift den area for River. Um, I left everything here in terms of my shelves that I came, that came from the studio. Obviously I brought everything with me. I still have to organize the beauty stuff. This is my closet. We don't have a walk-in closet in this room. It's just a bigger closet. Um, as you can see, I just I have to clean up most of it. It's a lot more storage. I got those little storage things from Amazon, which is really nice. So yeah, it's the master bedroom. We're gonna head out. So that was the entryway that we came in. This way, it's the laundry unit. This is the guest bathroom. Let me turn the light. 
where I can take a bath. It's nice, it's bigger than the master bathroom, actually, which I hear the guest bathroom usually is for apartments. This is our little linen closet, but this is just like where we're storing everything for now. I know everything's a mess. And then this is the second bedroom, which we need to organize as well. Everything we obviously still need to organize, and this is David's gaming table. That's the first thing he wants to set up. This is the Alex drawers from Ikea, and then that's the, um, what is it? The kitchen countertop, like the sl wooden slab, but you, he used it to make a, his makeshift desk because that's what the gamers on YouTube did. There's our little Dyson. Let me close that door. So yeah, we came from here and walk this way. And then this is the view that you get of our kitchen and the living space. That was the will you marry me sign that's now come down. And then those are the streets and the highways. Um, very nice space. I love that there's a lot of windows so it doesn't feel enclosed. We're a corner unit. So it really helped out and made the space look a little nicer. Um, this is where we keep River when we're playing and just in the living room. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi, River. Were you sleeping? He's still crate training and potty training. So uh, we're keeping him in here because he missed the wee wee pad in our bedroom and we just wanted him to stay in here and not have free roam while we're recording and everything. But yeah, that's the apartment. But obviously this is the space that I love. Kitchen is my favorite. Can't wait to host and cook more. So some updates about this apartment. I am on ground floor, which is not really ground floor because there's the lobby, which is the ground floor. And then I am the first livable floor. This is River, guys. Oh, oh why don't you look at the camera? This is River. He is our mini golden doodle. He's 5.4 pounds. He is now 11 weeks. And he's gonna be in daddy's room while I record and talk to you guys about some updates. All right, so just a few updates about my apartment. It's a newer apartment building and I am on the first livable floor because before uh, uh, below me is the common area and the entrance and the lobby and then I'm the first livable floor and I like this unit so much. It was the only corner unit left on the first floor. Now I can hear my neighbors above me, I know. And I never had to deal with that before because in my studio, I was the top floor, um, but the floors weren't that thing because I never had complaints from my neighbor below, maybe like once or twice when like I dropped something big. Um, but here, I can hear them walk morning to night every day. And it bothered me for the longest time. I mean, it still bothers me, but then long story short, we've talked to them upstairs and we're trying to be really understanding because they have two kids, young kids. Um, and they're trying to be understanding of us as well. So they're going to make sure they do their best. I mean, I can't complain about the kids running around. I mean, we just asked them if they can be wary of their stomping and especially not running around at night. I think the kids were running around like at 10, 11 o'clock and we just said that has to, that has to be stopped. Um, and they've been better. So I'm, I'm, I had to adjust to that for like the first week or so. And that was driving me nuts actually. Like I wanted to even move out of this unit, but David was like, you know, this is such a beautiful layout. This is one of the better layouts. So He's like, we're not gonna be here for years, you know? Like, we only have a year lease, let's just truck it through. And um, fortunately, they can't hear anything here. I don't have neighbors because I'm a corner unit, so it's just the outside. And our living room is enclosed by both the bedrooms and this kitchen. I had people over on a Friday night, blasted music, and it was a bunch of girls, so you can only imagine how loud we were when we were playing games, drinking, and music. We asked upstairs if they can hear it. They said they didn't hear a single thing. So the, I guess the silver lining or like the best outcome I can take from this is that I can host anytime. It won't bother my neighbors. It won't bother my, I can't hear my next door neighbors. They can't hear us. 
top floor can't hear me so um, I did really want this unit so I could host when I wanted when I wanted to move out from my studio I was like all right my goal is to you know have people over host it would be so nice and I'm just gonna have to truck it through and utilize this place to have friends over people over and enjoy our time that way so I do live by two major roads in this town one's actually by kind of like a semi-highway I don't know if you call it a highway um, and then a major road so I do hear a lot of honking but that actually doesn't bother me like car noises and honking because it's pretty well insulated within the windows and the structure of this building they um, sound proof you know the walls that the best that the best that they could knowing that it was being constructed by a major highway and road that's actually white noise to me like I prefer it I don't like it um, when this space is too quiet because I realize I'm going from a studio to a two bedroom two bath it is significantly bigger um, David works on the weekends so I was left here alone for two weekends and it was very hard for me to adjust um, not that I was scared or nervous but like it's just a bigger space. I don't know, like, I was so used to a studio for two years. It was like my little safe haven, my little nook. And now I'm jumping in to a bigger space that I'm not used to. And I was left alone to handle River, to handle the unboxings and packing and organizing. So it was a lot for me. And I know it sounds like I'm being such a baby, but that's just the reality of what I was going through and the way I was adjusting. So with that said, I am still waiting on a few more things. I am still waiting on a TV console. I'm still waiting to put stuff up on the walls. I need a front door table console. I just need a few more things to make this place feel a little bit more homey. Um, I do have some skincare unboxings to do. I'm so behind with that. Um, yeah, I was gonna get a dining table. Of course, the two things I was furniture shopping for, a couch and a dining table, are the two things I'm not getting. This space actually isn't big enough for a sectional or like a modular sectional. Oh, we got that. That's our ottoman that we got from Ikea. But as you can see, we this is 96 inches long? Am I? Uh, yeah, 96. I'm 98 or 96. So all the other standard, you know, sectional couches that we wanted were way longer and we're like, you know what, let's just keep our, let's just keep our couch. And then when we move to a home, um, if and when we move to a home, that's when we'll invest. And then here, it's a good enough space for a little dining set. It's not a good enough space for the dining sets that I wanted. And again, we didn't want to adjust a smaller expensive dining set for this apartment when we're just gonna move out in another year or two and we're gonna have to adjust to that and pretty much I don't want to get anything small here and then when we move to a home it's just gonna be a small uh, dining set and small sectional for a bigger home does that make sense am I making myself clear I don't know if I am I'm I didn't finish my coffee yet but yeah so we're just gonna keep it this way i might just get a smaller dining set here nothing expensive just like an area where we can sit down but this island is where this is a pretty big island by the way um this is bigger than like a standard island it has to be because so many people fit at this area and this is just gonna be the center area for us also maybe i'll do a little unboxing here because i'm sure you guys saw on my island that i got an engagement gift from a really really close couple friend um, of mine and um, they stopped by and this is actually yeah my first Hermes piece very generous gift they were so thoughtful they got us something that they enjoyed as a engaged married couple so this was an engagement gift for me and David and it is what is it mosaic Petite plateau mosaic platine. It's a little tray. You see? So they have the gold one of this. The couple friend of ours, they have a gold one of this. And this is where they put their rings on, their wedding rings. And they just thought it was such a pretty piece for their home. And they wanted us to experience the same. So this was, even though you guys know I love gold, this was perfect because my ring is um, white gold. I didn't opt to do like a gold band and the tray matches perfectly with the decor because most of our appliances are like silver and um thank you so much guys 
you know who you are. So this is so beautiful. I already put my ring on here once and I was like, oh, it was so nice. It was breathtaking. And uh, I told David not to touch it. So River was the name that we kept when we bought the dog. When we bought him, they already had named him River. So we're like, we're just gonna keep it. Because when I got Ruby at the shelter, that was her name. So perfect, Ruby and River, right? Like keep the names. I, th I feel like it's just good luck for me at this point. You guys know how sweet Ruby is, right? Like you guys see her on my Instagram all the time. She is so sweet, but it's very different adjusting to an energetic puppy. And he is a very good dog. He just wants to play with her and doesn't realize that Ruby is just naturally calm, cool, and like she's an older cat. What is she? She's gonna be three this year. And he's only 11 weeks. He keeps trying to chase her, not too aggressively, but like just that annoying little brother. So for the first time yesterday, she like bopped him on the head. <laughs> and it was just like the funniest thing. She literally was like, can you stop? Can you? <laughs> no claws, no nothing. She, you know, you know, Ruby's never hissed. She's never bit, she's never scratched. She's not that kind of a cat. She's never done that with me. She's never done that with other animals. Two of my, two, my sister's two dogs, Pomeranians would literally like harass her and she's never ever done anything to them. My sister's older cat like punched her in the face and she just kind of stared at him. And she's just such a good cat. I think she was just kind of annoyed at how energetic he was to her and trying to be playful. He was trying to be playful to her, but she didn't want anything to do with it. So anyways, uh, I just want to show you guys that little tour. I know the house, the apartment was still a bit of a mess, but I hope you guys like the layout. You'll see more of the apartment when I do more decor. There's obviously a lot of things I need to do, and I want to try to do that within this month. Um, again, our lease is only for a year, so like if we're gonna enjoy it, I wanna enjoy it to the max. And yeah, the ceilings are really high, so my mom wants to put plants, like hanging string of pearls. It's, it would be so beautiful here because of the open space. So I'll take take you guys along with me as I decorate in the next few videos. Love you guys, thanks for watching.